Elder Gabriel's Short Homilies, Part 2 Live in a way that you are cherished not only by God but also by people. There is nothing greater than that. One should hunger more for love than for food and thirst more for love than for wine. A humbled person is protected from temptations. No one can enter the kingdom of God without humility. Repent with your heart rather than shedding tears. God's wrath is upon women who have had an abortion. Repent and pray constantly for God to forgive the sin of slaughtering your own children. Never lose hope in God's providence. The Spirit comprises three faculties, rational, emotional, and volitional. Rational is in the mind of a person. Emotional is in their heart. Volitional is in their body. Egoism opposes love. An egoist never gives but only takes for themselves. All the world's riches could never satisfy an egoist. While eating, remember those in need, those who are hungry, thirsty, and suffering. Thus you learn to receive divine grace. Even the fiercest lion can be tamed through humility. Faith and love are revealed through suffering. Feeding doves and other birds is a kind deed. The eye reflects your soul. If it goes against your soul's will, you would never gaze upon anything improper. Repent from your heart, not just through tears. Ecumenism is a grave heresy. Christ did not tread on carpeted roads. He was simple. Hypocrisy, pomposity, and ostentation were repugnant to him. Christ wore only one tunic, woven by the Holy Mother of God. Have you sinned? Repent immediately. Do not use the name of the Lord your God carelessly. By doing so, you violate the third commandment. If you possess everything but love, you possess nothing. If you hate even a single person, you are repugnant before God. Love your enemies, it's clear. But how to love enemies of Christ? Cease hating, and then you will be able to love them. How to love an evil person? Hate the evil, but love those who commit evil.